Police are looking for several men behind at least two carjackings across Midtown. Now, images of the men believed to be responsible have been released. WRAG's Kwametra Wilburn explains how they were linked to the crimes. Take a look at these men walking into this store. At least four men can be seen on surveillance video speaking to someone who appears to be the cashier. Although nothing appears out of the ordinary with this video, Memphis police say it is crucial evidence in an investigation. Memphis police say these men are linked to two carjackings across Midtown. Police say the suspects used the victim's stolen cash app cards at the same corner store. The first incident happened outside a home on New York Street in Cooper Young. A police report says the victim was taking items out of her back seat when two masked men approached her and placed a gun at her side. The men demanded her car keys and went through her pockets, taking all of her belongings. This woman lives right across the street from where the carjacking happened. She says thieves have been known to target that neighborhood. My house was hit two once, you know, recently. Well, your house was broken into? Yeah, they busted out the back window. Nothing was taken. The second incident happened days later at Avalon and Monroe. The victims told police they were leaving an event when six people walked behind them as they were getting into their vehicle. The report says one of the suspects placed a gun to the driver's head and forced her to get out of the car. The suspects got away with the victim's phones, purses, and the car. In each carjacking, the victims say a black Kia Soul followed their vehicle as the suspects drove it away. Thankfully, no one was hurt in either incident. I'm not like a frightened person, but like um, it is disturbing. Memphis police say both stolen vehicles have since been recovered. The only thing left to uncover is the people behind the terrifying attacks. Reporting for your news leader from Midtown, Cormitra Wilborn, WREG News Channel 3.